unhealthy to me. What say you, Doctor? Maybe it explains some of his erratic behavior. I don't like it. Indeed. By the way, people in Colorado are driving, drinking, and smoking pot, increasing risks of fatal car accidents. Musk already has issues. He says he sleeps six to seven hours a night. That's good. He says he has breakfast every day. That's good. But he takes sleeping pills reportedly. He's drinking. He's having pot. All of it is a very bad combination. It, inter it interferes with cognition, with thinking, with the ability to make decisions. Maybe that's why Tesla's going down the drain. Well, there's a question as to whether a man like uh, Musk should be and should remain the CEO of a major car company. And uh, I'm not going to answer that question, but it's the question that everybody's asking. Big question. Great yes, ideas, it's... but maybe the follow-through questionable. Enough My son was, was loving that three for a while, but <laughs> not now. <laughs> well, enough with Musk. Um, what's with all these sick people getting on planes, coming to America, and then you've got to put them in quarantine on the tarmac in either D.C. or New York? We've had two examples of that reason. What's going on? We had a big Emirates flight on Wednesday that, that came into JFK with 19 people sick. Ten of them had to go to the hospital. Now a couple of planes, uh, American Airlines, came into Philly. Same problem. The CDC has tracked down, they're great at tracing, they figured out that the ones that came into JFK had the flu. So it's simply the flu. It's the starting flu? to be flu season. Middle East is getting it before we're getting it here. These people were from Saudi Arabia. So that explains it. But one thing I want the viewers to know, before they start thinking science fiction here, and in science fiction, you're on a plane, you're healthy, by the time you get off, you're sick and going to the hospital. In reality, Stuart, it takes a few days before you actually get sick. So if you encounter the flu, it was probably encountered in Saudi Arabia. And then they, they, got, they got sick on the plane, not that they caught it on the plane. Well, it was, wasn't, is that a coincidence or what? Everybody who gets sick on the plane. But th did they show si signs of sickness before they got That's on the plane? That's what I think. But I want to use this moment to make a public service announcement. <laughs> Go right ahead. Planes are ridiculous. People sit close together, they cough on each other, the surfaces aren't cleaned enough, you go to the bathroom, the water has bacteria in it. Those filters are great, but the person sitting next to you can get you sick. So what are you supposed Usually to do? Usually it takes a day, though. Well, what are you supposed to do? Well, the Japanese wear masks so on are, you, uh, are you suggesting that Americans go on ma with masks on board planes? <laughs> Are you? They're not going to do it. No, they're not. But they should <laughs> wash their hands before they get on, drink plenty of water, and don't cough on the person next to you. Oh, please, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this. Stop it. <laughs> and stretch your legs. And by the way, don't drink a lot of alcohol on planes. I don't. And must, don't go on a plane and have pot. Doc, i got to go, but <laughs> right. thanks for joining us. Good to see us. you.